It's been a year since J-Hub has been launched and today I would like to look back at the history of its invention. Can you tell us how the need in J-Hub has been identified? Yeah, sure. Look, we saw an opportunity uh, from the original product which we had where we had what we call a drifter product, uh, which was a static screen um, in monochrome in a lot of the caravans. And we saw an opportunity in which to be able to provide a device which could be updated. With this unit, the only way in which to be able to update the drifter was to be able to replace it with an entirely brand new unit. So the idea was to be able to move to a platform which was flexible and could start to move with the new generation of where digital content was going. Um, and that's how we come with the J-Hub. So the big change from the J-Hub in moving to the J-Hub is that it's a seven inch Android tablet. So we can add new content as required, we can add new features as required, we can do updates, all those types of things. It gives us a much more flexible platform from which to work from. Did the competition have anything at that moment, both in Australia and overseas? No, not really. We, there was definitely nothing here in Australia. There was a couple of options in Europe that we saw that were sort of starting to get a little bit smarter, um, mainly from the perspective of being able to interface back with the customers. They were colours, they were using more icon based as opposed to numerals and things like that. So the displays were basically just getting a bit smarter. But nobody at that stage had started to move towards going to um, something that holds digital content. What was the main challenge in designing and manufacturing J-Hub? Yeah, the main challenge, firstly, in the design side was making sure that we got a flow which was interactive with the customers. So we spent a lot of time working with the customers, uh, working with our internal staff, and a lot of who are actually our customers and go out, go out camping and finding out what were the key things which they wanted to understand and see on their J-Hub. So what type of interaction did they want to have? What did that display look like? What sort of content was relevant to them? From a manufacturing perspective, the biggest challenge which we had is that the tablet market around the world changes and moves quite fast. So we needed to be able to create a what we call a bumper case where we've got this um, rubber and neoprene film on the, um, uh, on the outside that was flexible to be able to take a range of different tablets so that if the tablet shape or design changed over time, we were able to adapt with it very, very quickly as opposed to starting the whole process again. So which problem did J-Hub solve for the customers? I don't know that it solved too many problems. I think that a lot of the same information that was in the Drifter is now in the J-Hub. But what it does, more importantly, is it gives us a platform to, for the customers to be able to have more opportunity and be able to expand more. So it could be uh, new features and func functions in the van, it could be digital content which is added in there, it could be manuals and reviews, all of that type of content and functionality is now starting to be programmed into the J-Hub. So really just offer this platform for the customer whereby we can continue to feature add for them without having to start again from a development perspective. Mm -hmm. Now that there are other solutions on the market available, what is the advantage of J-Hub over other solutions on the market? The main advantage of the J-Hub solution is that it is uh, working off a standard industry platform. So it's a standard Android 7-inch tablet. Most other um, tablets and uh, integrated systems that are out there work within their own contained environments and you can't um, interact with that. So the beauty of the J-Hub is that as we develop further, we can then talk with other manufacturers devices. So we could talk with the fridge, we can talk with the air conditioning system, we can talk with the awning. So we have that option to be able to expand out because we're working off a standard industry platform being the Android platform. From the moment the idea has been conceived to the implementation, how long did it take? Uh, sometimes that's like a piece of string by the time you go through a few prototypes. Uh, it probably took us around about two years in development because we developed the power supply, the J35, we developed the power supply in conjunction with the new tablet. So it was the power management platform and also the interface platform. Okay, and the final question, where to next? Where to next? Now it's about putting digital content in there and finding the right digital content which is relevant for their customers. What they want to see, how are they going to interact with it and how they're going to best use it so it enhances their experience whilst they're out there camping. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks. you, David.